Hey, what's up guys? Brady from ROG Ally Pro here, and today I'm gonna show you how to use your Xbox Cloud Gaming on the ROG Ally. So, the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is down here, or you might just have to search it up here. If you just search for Xbox, and then you click on the app here. Once that opens, make sure it opens full screen there. You should get prompted with a screen that kinda looks like this or you might have to sign in if this is your first time using the Xbox store. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to this little cloud icon on the left column and just click that. And here you can access your whole library of cloud gaming. And keep in mind that cloud gaming only works if you are subscribed to Game Pass Ultimate. So this is where you would see all the games where you can play uh, the cloud version of it. So you can just scroll through these, or if you wanna search up a specific game right there. And as of right now, Microsoft has over 350 games that are capable of cloud gaming right now. So say if I just wanted to hop into Hell Let Loose, I was playing this before. So you'll see here, you can see everything about the game. And you'll see install, play, and then buy if you haven't bought it. And in order to play it through the cloud, you cannot have it installed on your ROG Ally. It will not work. It will only play the installed version, not the cloud version. So once you're here, you just wanna click the play button for the cloud. And then this can sometimes take a while for it to load because of however many players are using the cloud service right now. So I'll come back to you guys when this is loaded up. All right, once you're loaded into your game, You'll notice that if you go to your settings and look at your video options, you're not able to change any of the graphic settings. Let me see if I can focus on it. Yeah, so you're not able to change many of the video options just because you're playing it through the cloud and it's like as if it was streaming from an Xbox. But you can still change some gameplay settings here. So let's go into a game and see how it looks. All right, and then after loading into your game, you'll see that you're just in it and playing. So let me pop up the real-time monitor here just to get an idea of how much FPS you would be getting. So I think the target for most games is around 60, as you can see for this one. The only downside of cloud gaming is that you can't change the graphic settings so if you wanted more fps or if you want to get rid of this motion blur that you can see right now on my screen you're not able to do that that's just one of the downsides of cloud gaming but this is just a test of the first game with it so let's go into another game let's just jump into one of the newer ones that were recently added which is brotato all right and this is brotato with the cloud gaming so let's just load up some random here. So as you can see, this isn't a very graphically intense game. So you're obviously gonna get some good FPS here. Oh yeah, and since you're playing through the cloud, you're not actually playing it through the device here. You can just open up the command center and just put this all the way down to 10 watts, just so you can save on battery life if you aren't next, next to a charger. Since you aren't actually processing anything on the ROG Ally. And I'm gonna go into a third game and show you guys what it looks like. And then here's Pow World when you're playing on cloud gaming. And once again, you can't really change the graphic options besides the motion blur and stuff. But when you're ready to quit a game, you just slide up, hold down the Xbox button, and then you click close window. And you might get a pop-up. It'll say ready to leave. You can either quit the game itself or quit the Xbox app in general. I usually just quit the game. Make sure you save first, of course. And that is how you utilize cloud gaming on the ROG Ally. Thank you guys for watching.